Hi parents, it's Alicia. I wanted to make a video for you guys about our recital packet because I know sometimes this is a little easier for some of you. So please listen to the next few slides as they have a lot of information in them. Our 13th annual recital is called Over the Rainbow. It's going to be so fun, so colorful. All the students are gonna look great. We are so excited. It is Sunday, June 13th three performance times, which I will go over in a little bit. It is on Hillcrest Lane in Little Falls, and we will be giving you guys directions to this because there are a few different ways to get there. We want to give you the best way to get there, and it overlooks all of Little Falls. It is gorgeous up there. We are so excited. Our dress rehearsal is Saturday, June 12th, so that's the day before the show, and we'll, we'll run the rehearsal the exact times your child will perform in the actual recital because we want to make sure we know how long each recital is going to last, and that everyone knows what they're doing this, the day of show day. Performance times are 12 p.m. for our mini movers, tiny tumblers, kinder level classes, premiere and edge competition team. Our 3 p.m. show is for primary level classes, mini stars competition team, POM, musical theater, premiere and edge competition team. And our 6 p.m. show is intermediate level classes, premiere and edge competition team, and any soloists um, that we have told that will be in the 6 p.m. show. Admission for this show, um, the ticket link should have been sent to you all through an email, so please make sure you got that email. Your tickets should have already been purchased. If you have not done that yet, please email me. We need to make sure everyone gets those tickets ordered before we um, hand them out because the tickets will actually be handed out the week of May 10th, not the 3rd. There is a typo in this last slide. Now, if you have a senior, you need to make sure that we have their senior picture emailed to us. This deadline has passed, and we are missing a few of you, so please make sure you get them in no later than this week. We need to make sure they're included in the program. Our recital tight orders are due, and the deadline for that has already passed as well, but we are extending that throughout this week, so please make sure you get those in as well by the end of this week. Um, go on our website to order those, as well as if you do have a business and want your ad in our recital program, that ad sheet is also on our website. There is a link. Um, we want those in by April 29th. All tuition balances must be caught up and paid by May 31st. Um, we want to make sure that everyone's caught up, no outstanding balances, or your child will unfortunately not be able to perform in the recital. Now, no costumes at dress rehearsal. Normal dance clothes, dance shoes must be worn. We don't want anybody missing anything or ruining a piece to their costume. And dress rehearsal is closed. Only one parent or guardian can accompany a dancer. No siblings or extra people are allowed. This is so our dancers are safe and so our dancers also have our full attention. Proper shoes must be worn for the recital and dress rehearsal. Shoe information by class will be listed and you will get that information. And dancers do need to wear masks when they're off stage, but while they are performing or rehearsing, they do not need to wear them unless parent or guardian does want them to. Please do not wear your costumes around and play dress up up until show day, please. Um, the week of May 10th, like I said, all pre-sale tickets will be given and please pick them up before your child's class. If possible, please print or show a phone receipt of your transaction. If you can't find that, we can look it up in our system. Last days of classes are June 1st to June 7th. Monday classes will actually have their last class on Monday, June 7th, because the week before that is Memorial Day. So please make sure they come to class that day if they are a Monday student. Now, this season, dancers will receive their award certificates of completion at the last week of classes, and parents will be allowed into class for small award ceremonies at the end of each class. We will not be doing awards at the end of each show like usual. We will only be recognizing seniors and 5- and 10-year award recipients at the end of each show due to COVID restrictions. The last week of classes are crucial to put the final touches on recital dances. So please, please, please make sure your dancers are in class from here on out. We want to make sure everyone knows what they're doing the day of show day. All dancers, please make sure you are in attendance. We want to make sure nobody is missing anything. This next slide, I believe we are talking about makeup and hair, um, and there are pictures included in the next few slides of how we want the hair and the makeup. So we do have a few tips here. Um, this was included in your packet that was emailed. So if you want to print something like this out, it does help 
And I know that getting made up for the recital is a really fun part. A lot of the students like it. We don't um, want our dancers to necessarily be too made up if they're younger. So it's preference for you if you want to just put glitter on their cheeks, some blush. They can wear a little bit of lipstick if they aren't wearing their mask on stage. Um, but we do have tips here to kind of explain how to do their hair and their makeup and the products that they should use. There is a checklist in one of these next few slides that does explain um, things that you can get for show day. And if you need any help with anything, please let us know. Um, we want to make sure nobody has any visible nail polish. And please make sure you secure everything when you are doing their hair. Get bobby pins and um, some of the classes are wearing a ponytail, some are wearing buns, but those are in the next few slides. So you will see exactly what we mean by that. But um, mascara can be worn and brown eyeliner or black eyeliner if you prefer that. If you're an older student, um, like we said, you can put shimmer on their cheeks. You can put glitter in their hair if they're younger. Some kids love that. So totally preference for you guys for the younger students. Um, foundation is also optional, of course. Now, here is the hair by class. All acrobatics, hip hop, and palm classes can wear their hair in a high pony with curls. And it's similar to the picture below. Um, now, we like a curled pony. It kind of gives that extra little touch on show day. If your child is in another class like ballet or lyrical, jazz, tap, contemporary, those classes do wear their hair in a bun. But if you curl it, before, like if your child is in hip hop or acro before, and then they need it in a bun, you can still wrap it around the bun maker and it will still be curly when you take it out. So preference for you guys as far as, um, actually, no, it's not preference for this. I'm sorry. Um, but please make sure that you're following these pictures because they are easy to, um, take out or put back in. We, we tried to make them very versatile styles if your child is in multiple classes. And bun makers are sold at most stores, including Dollar Tree, Walmart, Target, and more. It is best to have a hairnet to put over the bun. Um, they do sell those at all those stores. I'm not sure about Dollar Tree, but we know Walmart and Target sell them. And it just secures the bun and makes it look really, really fresh and put together. So we do recommend getting um, a hairnet for that. And we also, we realize dancers are in multiple dances. So it's, it's what e is easiest for you when you are putting up or taking down their hair. Now, recital checklist. This is a general list on what dancers will need for show day. Um, we have hair supplies in there like hairspray or, or spray gel, um, brush and a comb, bobby pins. Um, the V-shaped bobby pins are best for buns. And you should also get the closed bobby pins to secure any flyaways. Um, hair elastics. We also um, recommend the makeup here, foundation for older dancers, blush, bronzer, shimmer, or highlighter. Nude or mauve eyeshadows are best. Um, eyeliner, mascara, red or mauve lipstick, or gloss. And for tights and shoes, we are doing stirrup and skin tone tights for jazz, tap, acro, contemporary, and lyrical classes. All ballet classes are, are little classes if they have like ballet and tap, they're going to wear the ballet pink footed tights for, for both. And we want to make sure that everybody's not having to change tights too much because it is hard to change tights. We know that. Um, now make sure that your dancer has the proper shoes. We've listed them in this. Now our hip hop classes, you are having, we were going to order them through the studio, but we are actually just going to have you guys get black sneakers because each of those costumes does have black in it. So we figure black solid sneakers would be fine. You can get them anywhere you'd like as long as they're black and solid and they will match the costume. Now recital concessions are going to be provided. We have a few food trucks coming. We have K-Dog's Barbecue and Mr. Softy Ice Cream. And both of those are going to be coming the day of the show. Now at dress rehearsal, we're going to have bottled water for all the dancers for free. <laughs> Excuse me. For free. We are also going to have little cookies um, with our logo and recital um, theme on them. We're so excited about those. All the dancers are going to get them after they do their dress rehearsal performance. 
and we are going to have flowers for sale at every performance for those wanting to gift their dancer with flowers after their performance. Our studio logo apparel and gifts will also be for sale at the recital for any gifting needs for your dancers. So if you want to get them a gift at the show, we will have those at a table. And we are actually live streaming the recital for free for anyone with guests who cannot be in attendance at the show since we did have to limit tickets. So we will have more information on this through email and on our social media pages. We will post the link as well on show day. So it's easy access for everyone. We will email that to everyone. And we want to make sure all of your families that cannot be in attendance can watch the shows because they are going to be wonderful. Your students have worked so, so hard for this. And we are just so, so excited to be able to have a recital this season for all that we have lost last year. Now, our last and final slide, we're talking about five and 10-year award dancers. So all dancers who are receiving a five and 10 year award. If they've been with us for five or 10 years, your dancer will get that award at the recital. And we wanna make sure that this form is handed in no later than May 3rd. We will have copies of this form at the studio, but we also emailed those to you guys as well. So if you wanna just print that off from your home, you can do that as well. But we wanna make sure all of these forms are into us no later than May 3rd. We need to make sure that all trophies are ordered and they're in in time for the recital. And please tell us your dancer's name, their age, if they are a five or a 10 year dancer and their favorite part of dancing at Just Dance so far. So thank you everyone for listening. If you do have any questions, I am always available through email. That's the easiest way for me to answer your questions for when I get time because everything from here on out is very busy for me. So please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.